In this video, I'm gonna go over the system that I created in order to remove background from the AI generated images that I created in mid journey and later on I sell on Etsy. So I spent last couple of days trying to figure out the best way of doing it. And when I say the best way, I mean the most optimized way. At least this is the most optimized way for me. I was looking for a tool that will allow me to do it on a big scale. And here's the couple of factors that I was considering. Okay. Number one, the cost of the software. Okay. There's a bunch of free softwares. There's a bunch of paid softwares out there that can remove images very easily for example you can use this website called removebg.com which is a free website that will remove the background for you there's also canva which will also do that as well but you have to get the paid subscription from canva in order for it to work and during my research i actually found that canva is probably the best tool to remove background from the images it actually does the best job however there is a problem with canva and the problem is that it's not scalable. And that's another factor that I was looking for when I was looking for the system that I can scale my background removal. I was looking for a tool that can automatically remove background from images on a big scale. Let's say 100 images at once, okay? There are tools like that available besides Canva, but they usually charge you credit. So each time you remove background, you have to pay a couple of cents and this thing can adds up, you know? It's just not worth it at a certain uh, point because you're just gonna waste so much money on these background removals. And if you sell bundles of, let's say 20 images, that means that you have to remove background from 20 images. and the cost just adds up. And the last factor that I was considering is how good of a job does the software do, okay? So again, Canva is number one. I think Canva does the best job in the sense of removing background, but other softwares are pretty close as well. Some of the softwares I tried is the Gigapixel, Luminar Neo, Canva, which I already mentioned, RemoveBG.com, Photopia, and Photoshop. And speaking of Photoshop, this is my winner. This is the software I decided to go with because of a couple of reasons. It does decent job in removing moving the background very easily. Two, in Photoshop, I can easily fix the images that require a bit of fixing because some of the images that you will remove the background from, you will still need to do some manual work, some little touch apps. And Photoshop has a variety of tools that allow you to do it super easily and super quickly. And you can also do it in bulk. You can also remove background image from hundreds of images at once, which is something exactly that I was looking for. In Photoshop currently, it costs about $25 a month. I know there are other softwares that are cheaper. I know there are softwares that are free, but you just get the most of the tools for $25 because you get the app scaler, you get the background removal. You can fix the listing images on it. You can automate it. They don't charge you credits per image, which means you can remove backgrounds for like thousands of images. And that's the reason why I decided to go with Photoshop because in my opinion, it's the most optimized way of doing it. But enough with the chit chat. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so here's one of the images that I generated in mid journey. And now I'm gonna show you very easily how you can remove the background, okay? There are two ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you both of them. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it in scale and remove background from like 100 images at once, all right? So one of the ways of doing it is by using AI tool that Photoshop provides to remove background, okay? So what do you gotta do? You gotta unlock the layer. This is my layer, so I'm gonna click on unlock. And then you gotta go to the to the properties tab, okay, which is right here. If you don't have the properties tab, click on window and try to find it right here. And then it's gonna show up uh, in this corner right here, okay? And remember to unlock the layer because if the layer is locked, like for example, I'm gonna lock it right now, you're not gonna have this button, okay? So you make sure that you unlock the layer and then click on uh, this button where it says remove background because this will remove background for you and watch what's going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to click on it and AI is going to do its own thing because Photoshop also has its own AI that's going to remove the background. And as you can see, it did a pretty decent job. Okay, it actually looks pretty well. There's a couple of things that I would fix, but like overall, it did a pretty good job. But here's the thing. This tool uh, doesn't work perfect, okay? I found that this AI removal is not the best way of doing it in Photoshop, okay? The main reason why is because sometimes it will remove like the part of the tail or something. It's just, it's okay, okay? It's, it's a good tool, but it's not the best. I found a better way of doing it, and let me show you the better way of doing it. Okay, so the other way of doing it is by using the tool called Magic Wand right here, okay? So this thing is able to select the same area, for example, the white background. You can select the whole white background with one click and then simply click on delete button and remove the whole background. I found this way to be better on scale 
meaning if you're trying to remove background for like hundreds of images, this way seems to work better than the remove background tool that I showed you earlier. So let me show you how to use the magic one. So first thing first, you're going to unlock the layer one more time. Okay, so now the layer is unlocked. And then you're going to click on the magic one button. Okay, first thing first, check your tolerance. Usually I keep it uh, kind of low, anything between like five to 15. That seems to be uh, like a good number. Sometimes you want to go higher. What that means is the higher the tolerance, the more likely the AI will pick the similar colors. For example, if you know uh, I select the white background, but there is a different variation of white, it's going to pick up the higher range of the white color. Okay, so in my opinion, anything between like five to 15 is usually fine. And then make sure that this one is marked the contiguous. So it's going to select all the things that are like kind of connected with each other. I have these things marked up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on any white uh, color. Okay. And it's going to select all the white egg, uh, background. And then I'm going to click on delete. And now the background is removed. Okay. As you can see, it did an okay job, but like there are still some stuff that you would need to delete. So for example, I would have to delete this area right here. Let me select the selection button. I would remove, uh, you know, these little dots right here. I would delete all of that because it's just kind of ruining it. Okay, so I would select that and then simply click on delete. I would delete this little dot right here. I would delete like stuff like this, stuff like this here. I would actually do something like this. What you can do also, you can either delete this, uh, these uh, selections like right here, right? You can either delete this really fast so it doesn't look that ugly. All right, so something like this. Or what you can do is you can kind of smooth it out. So use this call called smudge. Okay. Keep it like 25, maybe 20, the strength. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to simply do something like this. So what this tool is doing, it's basically it's smoothing out the edges. Okay. So it doesn't look that messy. That way, you know, it just actually looks nicer. All right. So here we go. You get the idea. So once you're done, you simply save it and voila, you're done. Okay. But now let me show you how to remove background for like 100 images at once. So here's a folder with all the AI images that I created in Midjourney. Okay. So there's 98 of them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove background from all of them using Photoshop. Okay. And you can usually do this. So put all the images with the white background in one folder and then create another folder. Like for example, I created this one called final and in this final folder, I'm going to put images, these, all these images that you see right here, but without the background. Okay. Photoshop is going to put them automatically right there. So once you do that, go to Photoshop and what you want to do is you want to go to the action tab. If you don't see the action tab, click on the window and then select uh, action and it's going to show up right here. Okay. Once you're in the action tab, what you want to do is you want to record the steps that you're going to do. So you're going to teach Photoshop what it needs to do in order to remove the background. Okay. To create a new action, click on this button right here and name the action. So I'm going to name it background removal and I'm going to click on record. And as you can see, now I'm recording all the steps that will allow me to remove the background. Once the red dot is on, it means like Photoshop is tracking all my movements in the app. So now what you're going to do is you're going to unlock the layer and then you're going to click on the magic wand again and click on the white background and try to click it somewhere in the corner. Okay. Because what I found out is that Usually when you select like the white area in the middle, it creates problems. For some reason, Photoshop doesn't pick up all the time. But when you select the corner, usually it does the better job. So click somewhere right here and then click on the lead button. And now the, the white background is removed. Okay. There are still some stuff that require fixing, but you're going to do this after Photoshop is going to do majority of the job and remove most of the background. Okay. Okay. So now I done everything that Photoshop needs to do. So I'm going to stop recording. And I'm going to uh, automate this. So I'm going to click on file, automate, batch right here. And now I'm going to select the folder right here where the images with the white background are saved up. So I'm going to cl click on choose. And this is the folder where the images with white background are selected. And then I'm going to click on this button right here where it says choose and pick the folder where I want to save the images without the background. Okay. So I'm going to click on choose and I want to save them in this folder called final. Remember I was talking about the final. So I'm going to select it and also make sure that the action selected is the background removal one, the one that we just created. Okay. And then watch what happened. I'm going to click on okay. And now Photoshop will automatically remove background for all these images. As you can see, it's working in the background. 
So now just let it do its thing. Gonna remove background from this one and then it's gonna jump to another image. Look, and now it's going to the next one and it's doing its thing, okay? And let's actually open that folder and see what's happening. And watch this, the, the images are being created. So, so far it didn't fix the first one. That happens sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't pick up everything. But here's another one, here's another one, here's another one, here's another one. It's working on another one. This is, to me, the best way of doing it. I know it's not ideal, but like, honestly, I tried a bunch of different tools and they don't work perfect either. If you want to do this on bigger scale, in my opinion, you get the most for your buck if you're doing it this way. And it's also the most time effective. You might disagree with me, that's okay. But like, trust me, I've spent the last couple of days trying to figure out the system that's like the easiest to do. This seems to be the easiest in my opinion. I'm open for suggestions. Hey, if you have a better way of doing it, please let me know. But so far, this is the best way. All right, so now we have all the images remo with removed background. As you can see, there is 98 of them. And this is what they look like, okay? So we got this one right here. We have another one and another one. There's still some white background right here. Another one. As you can see, some of them are ready to go, like this one. I think this one is ready to go. Uh, this one obviously requires a bit of more work because there's still white background right here. This one, I think it's ready to go. This one, I think it's ready to go. Maybe remove this stuff right here. This one, this one is almost ready to go. All right, so watch, we're gonna do a quick fixing. So first I'm gonna select the selection button and select this area right here. I don't think it's necessary. It looks ugly, delete it, boom, looks way better. I'm gonna delete this area, delete it, boom. And as you can see, this image already looks better and it didn't take me that much time to fix it. Some image is gonna take you longer, some image is gonna take you less. This is why you wanna create some listings in advance. So I have hundreds of them, but maybe I will list only 20 of them. And I will only pick the ones that are like the best because I wanna spend as little work on this as possible. So I'll, for out of these hundred, maybe I'll pick 20, the best ones that I didn't have to spend too much time. And this is the most optimal way of doing it in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. If you want to get the list of monthly AI prompts, join our YouTube membership. You can also join our Discord and our weekly meetings. Every Thursday, you can meet up with me and other people that are doing Etsy AI, dropshipping, other stuff that are like, you know, that I've been doing for the last couple of years. But that will be it for today. I'll see you next time. Take care, my friend. See ya.